Hi, my name is Lewis. I'm the president of American Rat Control, and today I'm going to show you how to properly bait and set a rat trap and do it safely. So, first of all, let's, uh, let's take a look at the trap. This is just a typical old wooden uh, snap trap, been around for over 100 years. Still seems to be the best. Work, they work very well. Uh, and we're going to select the type of bait we're going to use beef jerky or the good old peanut in the shell. So let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take a screwdriver and we are going to need to um, remove the staple that's holding the locking bar in place. Move that. Bring this locking bar down. Uh, then we, what we want to do is we're going to have to place the bait on the trap. So what we want to do is hold the trigger mechanism down. Take the screwdriver. Okay, let me bring it down, bring it in frame here. Bring the screwdriver. Bring, pop it up just a little bit. There's a little spike right there. Uh, just pop it up just a little bit there so we can squeeze the bait inside there. Take a piece of beef jerky. You just want a little tiny piece of beef jerky. You don't want to put a big chunk on there. You don't want to feed the rats. What you want to do is you just want enough bait that the rat can smell it and um, try to wiggle it out of there. While he's doing that, he'll trip the trap. So take the bait, st stick it right underneath the trigger spike. There's a little spike right there. So just stick it right underneath there. And then you want to push that spike down so it'll it'll hold the uh, bait properly. So using the screwdriver, take it and just squeeze that little, push that little spike down. Let's see, just like so. So it's securely on there and it won't come off. Uh, that way you can keep using the trap over and over again and never have to change the bait out because the bait will stay the rat will come up try to grab the bait while doing that he's going to trip the trap and you can reuse the trap over and over again um, I suggest using the trap over and over again because right now as I'm holding it I'm leaving my scent on it and to a rat I'm a predator but once you catch that first rat on there that rat smell is going to be all over this trap then when you reset the same trap the um, next rat that's going to come along will smell the previous rat and feel more comfortable in approaching this trap. So reuse these traps over again, they'll work better the next time. So now we want to um, pro we want to s uh, safely set this trap. Some people get a little intimidated by these traps because they are kind of, they, you know, they're loud and uh, there's a lot of pressure on there. So basically what you want to do is you want to Hold the trap, with, if you're assuming you're right-handed, hold the trap with your right hand, hold it just like this. Uh, hold it firmly, bring the bow all the way back with your other hand, bring it all the way back, and then with your thumb, hold it like that. You don't wanna, you don't wanna put your thumb on it like that where the, your knuckles over it like that, because in the event that you slip and uh, you know drop the trap or whatever, your hand's gonna get caught and boom, you're gonna be snapped. You don't wanna do that. So what you wanna do is hold it like this, bring the bow across, just on the tip of your hand, hold on your thumb, hold it like that. And then with your other hand on the heel of, your, of this hand, you wanna use that part to hold the bow down. Hold it down and then bring the, the locking bar over until you can, and then just put it right onto the trigger mechanism right there. You can see that little trigger mechanism right there. And then with your left hand, that's the heel, slowly release pressure without letting go. Slowly release pressure until that locking bar stays and it catches. There you go. The reason why we want to use the heel, we don't want to use any fingers or joints to hold any part of this trap, the, the bar or anything like that, because it will, if you slip, it'll snap and um, it won't feel good. 
So take a close look at that. You see how that's set on there, just like that. Some people tend to do this, which is the wrong way to do it. They will, ta they will take it and they will st stick the, lock the locking bar in the little hole up here, if I can get it up there to show you. They'll stick it in there like that, thinking it goes like that. No, that's the wrong way to do it. We want to do it like this. We want to do it just like that. Bring it around like that. And then with your left hand over here, slowly release pressure till it catches. There you go, just like that. The trap is set. So I'm gonna unrelease this one and let it go. That's how, that, that's the type of bait we use right here most often in my company. I train my technicians to use beef jerky because uh, the rat species that's the most common in the Southern California area is the Norway rat and uh, they're, they like protein-based foods. Beef jerky is a really good protein-based food. So, but other rats, roof rats, uh, and Norway rats as well, but roof rats like uh, peanuts. And peanut is a very good bait as well. So I set this one aside. Um, <clears throat> the way we set a peanut onto the trigger is the same little spike, take the screwdriver, and we will just stick it in there and bend the spike straight up so it's sticking straight up there. See how that, just like that. Just bend it straight up and then we can take the peanut. If you take a look at the peanut, uh, let's use this other peanut over here. You have the meat of the peanut in, up, up here and the meat of the peanut down here and in the middle there's really nothing. So what I suggest you do is take the peanut on one end or the other, and then just spike it down. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. Spike it down right into the meat of the peanut on one side. There you go. Spike it right down on there. Now it's on there pretty, pretty good. Rat's not gonna get that off. And that will stay for a few trappings. Catch a few rats with that. So again, what you want to do is you want to hold the trap with your right hand, bring the locking the, the bow back, hold it with your thumb like that, and then bring your, the heel of your other hand over, hold it like that. You don't want your thumb to be over this part here because if, in case you slip, your hand is going to be cleared from the, the trap and you're not going to get injured. So, and then you bring the locking bar over. Bring it, here's the, the bar here. Bring it over like this, over the top, so it holds the locking bar back. Bring it over to the trigger, right there. And then with your, with your left hand, slowly release pressure without letting go, don't let go, until that, cat, that locks on there, it catches. You can feel it, and then let it go. There you go, you got a set trap. So, in the next part, I will show you how, where to place the traps in your house so you can uh, you can effectively trap the rats and get them out as quickly as possible.